Good morning, good afternoon or good evening. Wherever in this new topsy-turvy world you may be watching. This file is designed to enable you to control and to help control your blood pressure. Blood pressure is known as the silent killer and it's most important that we understand how blood pressure works and what we can do to control it. The file is completely downloadable for free for your own use from the link in the description below the video. After you've downloaded the file, make sure that you save it with a meaningful name. I suggest something like my blood pressure with the number one. The reason for the number one is that in time you will tend to fill up the table with your own information and you'll need to create a new blank set of data uh, for future use and I'll talk to you later about how to do that and to save the uh, new file with the blank data for example as my blood pressure 2. So let me say at this stage it's important to watch the video to the end, not only for the save procedure, but also because after the video finishes with the procedures, there is a sheet which will appear with lots of information about blood pressure. Now it's time to have a quick look at the file itself. This example is how your own data will be shown. You'll notice that there is an area here for your personal details and some information about your doctor. And over here in the table, you would complete the date, your systolic and diastolic reading and your pulse. I might add that the pulse uh, reading is entirely up to you. It's not mandatory, but of course you will need to enter in your blood pressure readings themselves. As you enter your personal data, you'll notice that the chart over here will update automatically. You don't need to do anything, just enter in the information and as we shall see very shortly, the chart, as I said, will update automatically. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to look in the bottom left hand corner where you'll see a sheet called My Blood Pressure Data. When you click on that, you'll be taken to a blank screen awaiting your information. So you would enter in your name uh, and your doctor's details. And then very importantly, over here in the table, you would enter in information such as the date and your readings. So let's see how that works in conjunction with the chart. Now the date, of course, will depend on your visit to the doctor or from your use of the of a home use blood pressure reading machine, a brand for which I've recommended in the information sheet at the end of the video. So let's say that our first date was the 3rd of April 2020, and your blood pressure reading was 135 over 75 with a pulse rate of, let's say, 80. And you'll notice that the chart here has automatically updated as I go to the next screen or press enter. So a week later on the, on the 10th of April, we have another reading and this time it might be 145 over 92 again with a let's say a pulse rate of 80 and as we press enter you'll notice that the chart has automatically updated and it will continue to update as you enter more information into the table here on the left you may well say why do i see colors in the cells here in the table that's because i've put a little warning situation here 
saying if the systolic reading is greater than or equal to 140, colour that cell in that particular colour so that it stands out. Similarly, in the diastolic reading, if the diastolic reading is greater than or equal to 90, then colour the cell in blue so that it stands out. And it stands out because the blood pressure reading is high and we need to be aware of that. Now in time, of course, and obviously, you will fill the table and get right down to the bottom here with dates and information. What we should then do is use the file save as command and save this file as, let's say, my blood pressure 2. What you then need to do in that new file when you open it is to delete the information from the first date cell down to the last pulse reading. This will clear all the information and it will also clear the chart <clears throat> so that your new readings will be available to you uh, and also you have retained the reading in the first file. Most important. Now firstly, what you might want to think about doing is deleting the example sheet down in the bottom left hand corner. You may not want to retain that any longer. The quickest way to do that is to right click on the example sheet and then go up to delete and to delete the file confirmation wise. Do you want to continue? Uh, we won't, but uh, you would press delete and press cancel. Well, I will press cancel. Um, the second thing that you could think about doing is to keep your doctor updated with your blood pressure uh, tracking and to do that you could save the file or files to a memory stick or you could email the files to your doctor to the email address that you've included in your personal details. That completes the explanation and demonstration of one of the most important features you can take to maintain your health. Stay tuned for the information sheet which follows now and I'd like, like to thank you very much for watching and if you have any comments or questions please let me know in the YouTube playback. Thank you so much.